Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Well, today we're going to do a video on a Canyon Star 39. I'm sorry, let's start that over. Today we're going to do a video on a Canyon Star 3722 floor plan. Uh, apparently we now take requests. Uh, so Jack, this video is for you, but anybody else who wants this, I have two of them. So I'm going to sell one of them to Jack and then the other one uh, you will, you'll be welcome to. Uh, so at any rate, yesterday we did, or earlier in the week I should say, we, we played a little trick on you and we faked out doing a motorhome when we were really doing a travel trailer. I just want to say it was Tony's idea. That's all I'm saying. It was all him, not me. I would never do that. Never, ever, never. Uh, but today we are really doing a motorhome, so we'll do this. And to make up for it, we're going to film another motorhome. This is a gas one. I'll do a diesel one this afternoon. And uh, hopefully that gets us back in your good graces. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for our page. Now, and more importantly, don't forget to ask for me when you come in. That's always an annoying one. Um, so the 3722 actually has a very nice aisleway. The slides are in right now, as you can see. So we have a very nice aisleway right down through here. No real choke points. We can get to the kitchen easily. Obviously get to the refrigerator with no issues. The bathroom, you kind of have to go past the bathroom door, but then it is an easy entry. They put the articulating door in. So that's still an easy entry there. And then there's a king bed back here and you can easily go back there and lay down on the bed. So that's a little bit about this while we're going down the road, but I know what we really want to see is this motorhome all opened up, so let's do that right now. All right, so now we're all opened up. This is a quad slide. That's four slide outs on this coach, and we have it fully opened up now. This is kind of a diesel floor plan. Uh, it's not a diesel motorhome, by the way. The Canyon Star is a gas motorhome, uh, but uh, this, this is definitely a diesel feel and a diesel kind of size range. Over here, we have a super slide. On the super slide, we have the theater seating and we have the uh, booth dinette. This booth does make into a bed and there is storage underneath. So you'll have drawers, extra little cubbies. Very nice there. The theater seating pops up, it's electric. How slick is that? There's a little USB charger on each one of these cushions here. There's drink holders. This flips up. There's another USB charger in here. I mean, really, really a comfortable setup. And then right across from this, we do have our TV on the televator. So your viewing angles are going to be very, very good. Now we also optioned in the front TV. Now this is an optional TV and I get the question a lot of times, you know, why why the front TV if you have the televator? And I think what a lot of people are thinking when they when they order that in is is actually if you did have guests over and your guests were sitting here and you're sitting over there, it's going to be hard to see this TV. So if you wanted to do some TV watching, actually in that instance, right there would be uh, would be a great place to have a television. So that's kind of the thought uh, in uh, to having the uh, extra television option in. The door is also very far forward in this coach, about as far forward as you're going to get it in a gas motorhome. And that again gives it kind of that diesel feel when the door is way up at the front. Driver and passenger seats do spin around and they are like adjustable armrest flex steel um, chairs. They're extremely comfortable. Uh, this coach is about as close as you can get to a diesel without it being a diesel and without paying the diesel price. We are built, as I mentioned before, on the Ford chassis. So that's going to be a six-speed transmission, uh, V10 Ford engine. Um, we have fully automatic leveling system on this, backup cameras, side cameras. We have the built-in navigation system in here as well, uh, which is the Rand McNally navigation system. So uh, you have all the goodies. Um, JBL Premium Audio in here, and, and that seems like a little thing, but but you wouldn't believe what Numar invested in getting some decent sound in in RVs. Uh, they actually had um, folks from River Park come in and s do basically analysis on the ch the front areas of these, set up all little microphones in here and, and, and dial in the sound. The sound is literally tuned 
for the motorhome with the slides in, especially in the front area here. Um, and when you hear these stereo systems, you can actually tell, man, that sounds better than any RV stereo I've ever heard. Usually they were pretty tinny and you know sounded like you were getting AM radio regardless of what you were doing. So, uh, but that's uh, that's definitely a nicety. Um, we do have for the passenger up here. Not only do you have a nice reclining seat, but you also have your own built-in table. There's 110 volt and USB outlets down there. Those might be hard to see from here, but trust me, they're there. All of our windows have the MCD shades. The MCD shades are nice because like during the day you can have them like this and you can still see out and see what's going on, uh, but people can't really see in. And then at night there's actually a blackout shade back there as well that you can pull down um, so that you do have complete privacy. All of the windows have them on the front here those are actually powered in the windshield and that's nice because if you are headed out into the sun and you need to bring it down a little bit because the sun's in your eyes you can actually bring that down a little bit to uh, uh, give yourself some relief um, so that needed to be electric because you could never reach it from the driver's seat otherwise okay so here's a nice storage cabinet up here with a shelf in it we're going to move over here a little more storage sorry i'm trying to get out of the way of the camera here Above the door is where we're going to find most of our coach systems. So as we look up here, we have our power control system up here. That's just going to tell us how much power is coming into the coach and where the power is coming from. It recognizes that it's coming from a generator so that it has two legs of, of 110 volts coming in. Um, if it was on a 20 or 30 amp service, it could also detect that. Uh, and it would know not to let you go over that. So you're not always blowing circuit breakers out at the post. Of course, we do have a power awning on here. The control for that is here. We have an entertainment um, uh, inverter in here. So inverters take 12 volt DC current and change it to 120 volt household current. Um, and, and so this little inverter here, we turn that on and we'd actually be able to watch our TVs, play our DVD player off of our inverter uh, without the generator running and without being plugged in. Now it's not usually a feature that most people use all that often, but it is a nice feature to have. This coach does have an in-motion satellite dish on it. That can be tuned to either DirecTV or DISH Network. Here's our slide controls for our front two slides. Um, our 12 volt battery disconnect, we would use that whenever we put the coach into storage. You shut that off to, to keep your batteries from running down. Your step switch controls whether your step comes in and out every time you open the door or whether it does just stay out at the campsite. Now understand, regardless of the position of the switch, there is a safety built in. If that door is shut and that ignition key gets turned on, that step is coming in regardless of the position of the switch. This is our hot water heater controls. It is gas and electric and it can be controlled right here. And then our tank levels and everything can be controlled right here on this control panel. So, and again, these are done in percentages instead of like one third full, two thirds full, full. This is a lot more accurate and gives you a lot more warning, obviously, before you uh, overfill a tank or run out. Above the sofa, we have three cabinets. Okay, now two of these are kind of utilized for audio video. This is all prepped for any audio video stuff you want to add. This is where your Blu-ray receiver goes or your satellite receiver goes. Um, but there's actual plugs and stuff in here where you could um, hook other stuff in right below your Bose soundbar. And by the way, your Bose soundbar can be Bluetoothable. Um, so you can hook all your devices into there. And then this is just extra storage over here. Okay. Notice these two doors have glass panels on them. That's so your infrared remote will go through there uh, and it will work just fine. All right, we'll move back into the kitchen area here. Let's get into the kitchen storage. I know we all like to see that. These are adjustable shelves up high, and these are deep cabinets. So there's a lot of space there, a lot of room for a lot of different uh, uh, dishes and such. Down here we have trash can storage, and that's another big cabinet. You could actually put two trash cans in there if you wanted to. Okay, this folds down for your little soap scrubbies. Okay. And then we actually have one, two, three, four drawers here, varying in size. And this is interesting. Look what Numar sends you. I don't think I've ever talked about these in the video before. Um, this is actually your touch-up paint. Uh, your paint on the outside, you get a little bug chip or something like that, or rock chip. You just want to barely touch it. They actually send you the colors, four little, uh, four little bottles of the four colors on the outside. So nice, nice little touch there. And then 
microwave. We have a 30 inch convection microwave. And then three burner cooktop below that. That's kind of a new cooktop that they're using. Still made by Dometic, but the Dometic's definitely up to their game there. And then double stainless undermount sink with pull down sink sprayer. Very residential. Okay. Numar does all of this Corian in house, so it's just beautiful. We also have three drawers below the stove. Okay. We talk a lot, I know, about the flagpole holder. Look at this, see if I can get this thing out of here. I don't think I've ever shown this before. This is a day of firsts. Get rid of this packaging material. That is what goes in the flagpole holder. It's a little slot on the outside. I'll take this with me. We'll demonstrate this on the outside. So I'll set it out on the counter so I remember, but I don't think we've ever demonstrated that portion of it before, how it actually works. But we do have two more drawers down below that. So a lot of kitchen storage in this floor plan. All right, we skipped over the booth uh, a little bit. We talked about it early on. This is obviously all Corey on here. Um, and I know we talked about the theater seating a little bit, but I skipped the cabinets above. So I get called out on that when I miss a cabinet. Nice part about this, this is all one area here. So yet you have uh, uh, long items you don't have it's not, if they're individual compartments you can't fit long items in here with this you can they're all up on the metal struts so you don't have to be the one arm loader one thing we didn't talk about also is this has multiplex lighting in it let's get a good shot of this uh, switch plate right there those are located throughout the coach and they allow you to turn multiple things on from one switch panel. I mean, normally on a switch panel, you could have one or two switches. With these, they can put six or eight switches on there and you can control lighting through kind of the whole thing. One thing I like is you can hit just two buttons on the one by the door and it, two buttons at the same time, it will darken the whole coach. It'll shut every light off in the coach, except I think the microwave, that's not, that's not tied in. Um, but other than that, every light in the coach will go off at the same time. So if you're leaving your coach um, and you wanna just shut the lights off and go, just hit two on the way out the door, makes it easy as can be. Um, Numar, this has their central air ducting in it, same type of system they use in all of their coaches, whether it's a King Air or a Baystar Sport, they're going to use this. Now they might disguise it in different manners, but you have one run here that is the return duct, you have another run next to it that is the output duct. Well, why do they do it that way? Well, a couple reasons. The more straight line uh, that your ductwork is in, the more efficient it's going to be, the quieter it's going to be, number, number one and number two. Um, but, but also um, with, with the way that they do their ductwork, when your slide rooms are in, you're still getting your air. So many of these manufacturers today, they'll put ductwork like way out here and way out here. Well, that's great, but when we bring these two slides in, your, your ductwork is over the top of your slides. Obviously, that's not efficient, and that's not going to get you cool air where you want it. So this does bring that down um, right down the center of the coach. That's how Numar does it throughout the board. It's quieter it's more efficient and you'll like it so moving on we'll get back to the refrigerator this is the 10 cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator this is a Norcold model you're seeing a lot of residential models out there and we like those too but in certain applications we have to look at trade-offs could i put a residential refrigerator right here yeah i could probably option that in but i'm going to lose this pantry right here and this is the pantry with all the pullouts in it now that that becomes a trade-off time um, you know, everybody wants all the goodies, um, but we have to understand that with the RVs, it's always a trade-off. I gained this, I lost that. We thought 10 cubic foot refrigerator and keeping this nice pantry and you have a nice small pantry here next to it, you kind of get the double pantry set up like this. We thought that was a worthwhile uh, trade. You do even have a little bit of storage up here as well. All right, move back one more. Looky here more pantry more pull out so this is for you folks that like to cook like to have a nice kitchen area this has a lot of pantry for you all right bathroom tony i'm going to step out of this one <laughs> that's uh the, the, just a little bit tight in there for two people one person plenty of room obviously you have a beautiful molded one-piece shower sink, toilet, all in one area. And then when Tony steps out, I'll open up all the storage and let him get a, sh a shot of that also. Okay. 
There you go, try again. All right, moving on to the bedroom. Step back to the bedroom. First thing we notice on this 37 footer king bed. So king bed, stackable washer dryer prepped, kind of diesel floor plan. There's a lot in this 37 footer. There's a lot of space here. Notice even though there's a king bed in here, look at my walk space in this bedroom. Look at my storage space in this bedroom. I have a nice closet here. All kinds of folded goods can go in here. Okay. And then six, well, five drawers like this. I'm only going to open a couple of them here. You have five drawers identical to this. And then you have this one pull down here. This is actually our AV cabinet for the bedroom. So there's your Blu-ray player for in here. And again, if you wanted a satellite receiver in here, you could do that. Back here, this is prepped for the washer dryer. I've started bringing the Canyon Stars in with, with just mostly uh, washer dryer prep. It gives me the most versatility. We can put in a washer dryer in this for about the same price you could get it from the factory option. The only difference is I make one of my technicians mad because he has to drag a washer dryer in here. Um, but uh, um, some people want the extra storage. This is, as you see, it's double wardrobe right here. If you wanted the combination washer dryer, those aren't as popular, but you could put the combination washer dryer in here and keep your top hanging space. Um, or obviously we can put the full stack of a washer dryer in here. You tell us what you want. Um, it's not a very difficult thing to do. Um, we'll go right here for the cl closet. Now this cushion that you see here, that's actually made with a, uh, used with that booth dinette when we make the booth into a bed. So that's what that's for. And then that's all hanging storage throughout and you can see it's lit. And then look down here. One, two, Wow, three, four, four drawers. It's gonna be hard to get those all in there. Tremendous bedroom storage in this coach. Okay. The bed does lift up. We have storage underneath. Probably be a good spot for that big cushion. And then, it's gonna be hard to get, Tony, but let me lean in here. Each nightstand has this little cabinet. Sorry, trying to get out of the way. <laughs> and then over the top of the bed, we have good storage. That's all one cabinet all the way across, so double that, and you kind of get the idea of what you have here. There are outlets on both sides of the bed. I, I know that's one that's easy to miss for manufacturers. There are outlets on both sides of the bed. So that's the inside of our Canyon Star. Let's go take a look at the outside. All right, here we are in the outside of our 3722. As I promised you, we would demonstrate the flagpole holder. You buy your own flag, you stick it right in there. Flagpole holder goes in here. Ah, how simple is that? Nice little setup, as I promised you, V10 engine. And we also have um, the side cameras on this and of course a nice backup camera as well. We have the film on the front to protect against those bugs and rock chips that we mentioned. So there is a protective film over the whole front and on certain other strategic areas where it might be common to get scratched. These are the Numar flush mount slides. So um, they, they recess back into the wall. I've talked about this a thousand times, but they recess back into the wall as opposed to uh, being just one piece of plastic that, that is, covers the sloppiness of the, of, of the joint, if you will. So um, much better fit here. You're gonna have less water intrusion. You're gonna have uh, a quieter coach because there's no air getting in around these slide rooms. Very well insulated uh, baggage doors. And you can see the bottom is all completely carpeted in there. That helps uh, keep stuff from sliding around, but it also uh, helps give it a little bit of a uh, uh, sound deadener there as well. There are lights in the basement also. And this is all one compartment from here all the way forward. That is all one compartment, which makes it very nice. We have a Vizio TV on a swing arm out here and an outdoor radio 
that's Bluetooth capable as well. So you can stand out here, watch TV, sit out here, watch TV. You even have a 12 volt, I'm sorry, a USB port there uh, that is great. Sorry if you didn't get that. There we go. Um, that's great for charging your phone while you're out here. You can be out here sitting in your favorite chair, having your favorite beverage, having your cell phone charged. Beautiful. 10 gallon gas and electric water heater. Frameless windows throughout this coach and they just look beautiful. Now we are on the bigger tires. These are the 22 and a half inch tires. Same tires that a lot of diesel pushers come with. And we are on the Alcoa aluminum rims as well, which are going to look better and not going to rust. Another nice storage compartment here. And that's a pass through all the way through. Come back a little bit. You have another nice storage compartment here. And that's a pass through. Now something I want to point out. Keep it down here, Tony. Okay. That bar right there, that one inch steel shaft. That's what drives our slide rooms in and out. That attaches to a cog wheel that runs them in and out um, on Newmar products. Now, would you rather have that or some little bitty cable or some little bitty gears that are used on a lot of these? That is obviously a much more robust system. Newmar has used it for years. Now, we're not done with pass-through storage yet. That goes all the way through. We have a one-piece molded rear cap on here, and I love when they do the rear stainless uh, the, the, the mirrored rear cap, I should say, um, just gives it that really high-end look. This is all one piece, so no chance for leaks back here. Your camera's molded into the cap instead of bolted on. We do have a 5,000-pound towing hitch on here as well. As we come around to this side, you can hear the generator, but it's not loud. Now, this is a 7KW generator. We optioned it in that way. The 7KW is actually a little bigger generator. The bigger the generator, the lower RPM it can run at. The lower the RPM it's running at, the quieter it is. So even though this is a gas generator and I'm standing five feet from it, uh, it's not loud at all. I can easily talk over it. And I, I assume you're hearing it on the video, but it's probably not loud. So big storage here and our 50 amp shore power cord. This does have the built-in surge protector as well. So you don't have to go out and buy a separate surge protector. Generator 7K Onan, as I mentioned, with storage above it. This is where we fill our fuel. This is where that special hose goes for dumping our black tank and our gray tank. It gets its own compartment because we don't want it mingling with anything else. This is our wet bay. Hot and cold water out here, whole house water filtration system. It's easy to winterize. We have a black tank flush. We have a city water hookup. It's all in one compartment. This is a heated compartment. Whenever um, the weather dips down cold, anywhere where there's water lines or water tanks, Newmar does pump heat into those areas. Here's actually our fresh water tank. And look how easy our water pump is to get to. I know I've changed some water pumps before on RVs and they've just made it a nightmare. That one's pretty darn easy to get to. I said it was easy to winterize. That's because of this siphon hose. Um, that You just shove that down into a bottle, turn two valves, and it will start sucking the RV antifreeze right into the system. Of course, if you just drive this thing to like St. Pete Beach, you probably don't have to winterize it. Nice big storage compartment there as well. And then look at our the size of our propane bottle. That's a propane bottle you're going to fill about once a year, maybe. All right, we'll get a good shot of the front here. Just so we have it on the video. Folks, that about wraps it up for my Canyon Star. I hope you've enjoyed this. I have two of them. The other one is very similar to this. Oh, this custom, this paint job, don't go looking for it in the brochure. It's not there. This was custom paint. We ordered it this way, so we hope you love it. It is a one of a kind that way. Um, so this is the Madras interior um, with the Arbor Glaze maple cabinets. And I think that about covers it. Uh, that covers most of the options and everything. The other one that I do have has the two chairs in it instead of the theater seating, but colors wise, it's pretty comparable to this. Uh, so I'd be happy to sell you either one that Jack doesn't want. So thanks for watching. Come see me. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV.